Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss antihypertensive of choice in different comorbid conditions. Starting with comorbid condition diabetes. Drug of choice for hypertension control is ACE inhibitors or ARB. Mechanism of action being ACE inhibitor or ARB will control albumin urea and will help in prevention of nephropathy. Number two condition post myocardial infarction. In post myocardial infarction, drug of choice is ACE inhibitor or ARB, reason being they decrease remodeling. Third comorbid condition is CHF. For CHF, antihypertensive of choice will be again ACE inhibitor because it decreases the remodeling effect. Number four, stable angina patients. So, in stable angina patients, we prefer to give beta blockers like metoprolol. The mechanism of action is it decreases the cardiac demand and will help in angina episode. Other agent which can be used are calcium channel blockers like diltezem or virapamil, but they have less antihypertensive effect than beta blocker. Number five comorbid condition is renal artery stenosis. In unilateral renal artery stenosis, mechanism of hypertension is RAS activation. Hence, drug of choice will be ACE inhibitor. But remember, in bilateral renal artery stenosis, ACE inhibitors are contraindicated. Next comorbid condition is Kohn's syndrome. Kohn's syndrome is aldosterone producing adrenal adenoma. So, the obvious drug of choice to control hypertension in Kohn's syndrome will be aldosterone antagonist like spironolactone. Next comorbid condition, pheochromocytoma that is due to increased norepinephrine release. Hence, we will give alpha blocker like prezosil in OPD basis. Next comorbid condition is patient having hyperthyroidism induced hypertension. In hyperthyroidism, there is high cardiac output which leads to high systolic BP. And the main reason is due to increased beta 1 receptor activity. Obvious drug that we will give is beta blockers in hyperthyroidism induced hypertension. Patient of Gordon syndrome, it is activating mutation of sodium chloride channel in the renal tubules. So, we will give sodium chloride channel blocker. Drug of choice will be thiazide. Little syndrome. Little syndrome is activating mutation of E sodium channel. We will give E sodium channel blocker amyloride to control hypertension. So, hence it is very important to know the exact reason for the hypertension because if we give drug according to the comorbid condition, then blood pressure will be easily controlled. Now, tell me in bilateral renal artery stenosis, which antihypertensive drug will you use? Thank you.